Hi, I'm Clever Ghoul, but you can call me Nikki. And this week, we're getting into something that I just couldn't wait any longer to do. Welcome back to the channel. One thing you may or may not know about me is that my favorite show in the entire world is Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I am due for a rewatch, but I watch it at least once a year and have since it ended. So really love the show. Now, if you've ever watched the show or if you haven't, I guess, there is another Slayer named Kendra. And in season two, she gives Buffy something for good luck fighting the demons. And that is her trusted stake, Mr. Pointy. This is my lucky stake. I call it Mr. Pointy. Now, Mr. Pointy makes appearances throughout the show and he always looks a little little different, but today I decided it was time to finally replicate him. So let's get into it. All you're gonna need for this is some foil, maybe some wire, hot glue, acrylic paint, and some spray sealer. I used Krylon Crystal Clear in a satin finish. And of course, being the chosen one would probably help as well. Now the very first thing I did here was took out a piece of paper and started drawing out Mr. Pointy. I tried it a few times before it looked right for me. And then I got into the next step, which was crumpling up some foil, shaping it to the exact size of the drawing I made, and laying it out to start to make the shape of the stake and make the base. At this point, I realized I was going to need to attach these chunks of foil together. So I took some wire and hot glue and started to attach the top with the wire and hot glue. And then from there, I just used hot glue to attach the rest together and just hope that it held, which it did. Once the foil portion was done, it was time to break out the polymer clay and start rolling it out into thin sheets and just doing the first base layer all over the stake. I really wanted to get it nice and smooth here just so that I could add in texture or knots or anything later on, but give it that smooth finish to start. I also use beige polymer clay here because I wanted to use that as one of the values in the final stake itself so that when I was adding paint on, if there were any gaps that would show through, it, it wasn't jarring. And so it would blend together cohesively and make sense that this was a piece of wood. So like I said, I continued layering on the clay, smoothing it out, making it a nice even texture. And then once that was done, I started to add in details. I used different clay tools to add in some wood grain sort of texture, add in some knots here and there. Mr. Pointy also is sometimes shown with a little stump at the top so I added that in and I just went through and made it look as real as I could. I also took the time to add some chisel like divots throughout the steak so that it looked like it had been hand carved. Originally Mr. Pointy was in fact carved by Kendra the Slayer so there definitely would have been little chips and marks here and there. Once everything was to my liking I put it in the oven and baked it on each side for about 10 minutes each and I checked on it throughout to make sure not only that it was cooking but that it wasn't burning. I really didn't want anything to burn or break during this process so I was monitoring it closely. Much like Buffy would monitor some big bads lurking around Sunnydale. Once it had baked and fully cooled, I found some cracks, so I took some quick seal out and just pressed it with my finger into the cracks and then let that dry for the appropriate amount of time, which I think was about two hours. And finally, it was time to paint. So once everything was dry and ready to go, I started layering in some different paints. I started with using some golden brown to do a base with a sponge brush. I just sort of stabbed it in there, just pressing it in so that the paint could really adhere to the base. And then from there, I mixed in some of the dark gray paint that I have with some brown and made the top of the stake, which tends to look darker in pictures. I also I'll also use that later to add some depth into some of the little nooks and crannies of the state. And then I continued using brown, white, yellow, adding in layers of middle tones, highlights, shadows, just trying to make it look as real as I could. I don't think you understand how hard it is to actually paint something to look like real wood. It is very hard. So I did my best and I had to walk away at this point because I was getting way too laser focused on it and I was doing too much. Team doing too much, for sure. Now I may have mentioned this before, but Mr. Pointy was a wooden stake on a vampire TV show, meaning that as a prop, there were multiple Mr. Pointies. When I went to look for reference of Mr. Pointy for painting and whatnot, he always looked a little bit different. So this is just my version of Mr. Pointy, and I think he turned out pretty good. We're, we're five, five by five. five. Which I guess means it's time for the reveal. <laughs> Here it is. I am so happy with it. I love how it turned out. I love the little divots 
that you can see in here. I think those turned out really well to help make it look hand carved. The knot looks really good. It kind of looks a little branch like, but you know what? I'm really proud of this. And I think when you're holding it like this or when you dress up like Buffy and decide to run around your house, you know, it looks really legit. Overall, I'm so glad that I finally did this project. I'm so glad I have my very own Mr. Pointy. I honestly wanna do a bunch more Buffy projects. I can't wait to do them in the future, so I hope you stick around for those. And honestly, I gotta go, cause it's a million degrees and I need to go rewatch Buffy. It's way past time. So thanks again for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, I'll see you next week. Bye.